Were they going to the Hamptons? Was it an emergency car race to the Hamptons? Because that's the only place that takes two hours on, on a Tuesday night. Right, they're exaggerating because they like being in the public eye. And let's face it, he's been trying to make her into Diana from the moment they started dating. Remember early on, she had like a couple of paps following her and he released the statement like, I'm not going to allow her, what to happen to her, what happened to my mother. That's not what's happening. Welcome to being a public figure. Grow up. Couples say they were involved in a, quote, near catastrophic, close quotes, two hour car chase at the hands of paparazzi in Manhattan from 10 o'clock to midnight. Sources uh, close to them said they were followed by half a dozen blacked out vehicles which mounted pavements and skipped red lights. Tonight, the Times reports that Harry told friends it's the closest he's ever felt to understanding what happened to his mother, Princess Diana. A couple for the spokesman, uh, for the, uh, especially the couple said last night the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and Miss Ragland were involved in a near catastrophic car chase at the hands of a ring of highly aggressive paparazzi. This relentless pursuit Relentless pursuit lasting two hours resulted in multiple near collisions involving other drivers on the road, pedestrians, and two NYPD officers. While being a public figure comes with a level of interest from the public, it should never come at the cost of anyone's safety. By contrast, the New York Police Department statement was, well, it was singularly less dramatic. On Wednesday evening, they said, May 16th, the NYPD assisted a private security team protecting the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. There were numerous photographers that made their transport challenging. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex arrived at their destination and there were no reported collisions, summonses, injuries or, or arrests in, re in that regard. And then the taxi driver, who at one stage transported the couple uh, for about 10 minutes, has now told the Washington Post he wouldn't call the incident a chase and said he felt safe during the ride. Recollections, as the late Queen once said, appear to be varied. <laughs> I think that's all, you know, exaggerated and stuff like that. So don't read too much into that. New York City is the safest place to be, right? And there's police stations, there's cops on every corner. So there's nobody to be afraid in New York. I think all of us, I don't think there's many of us who don't recall how, uh, how the, uh, his mom uh, died and it would be horrific to lose an innocent bystander during a chase like this and something to have happened uh, to them as well. So I think we have to be extremely responsible. Uh, I thought that was a bit reckless and irresponsible.
since the death of, of his mother. And I completely understand his pathological hatred of paparazzi after what happened to his mum. I get it, okay? I'm not gonna question his right to feel that way about paparazzi generally. It's about what really went on though last night and bearing in mind the context of his court case here at the moment to try and get better protection when he comes over here with his family at the taxpayer expense. There are cynics out there and they've already been saying it on social media. Is this just him over-egging an incident which happens probably most nights of the week in Manhattan with celebrities to try and get what he wants over here? Well, I think he, he, that may be the case, Pierce. I mean, but what I'm what I'm confused with is this sort of near catastrophic. Yeah. I mean, exactly. to, to me, what I see is is, is quite normal um, for that sort of event. I mean, here he is, a, you know, a major A-list or whatever he is in New York, being pursued by the paparazzi, which is which is normal. I think what what what. What I have and, to... and it has to be said legal. So under the yes. First yes. Amendment, they're allowed to do this. Now, the question is, if the way they were driving was illegal, that's a different issue, but the police have made clear no arrests. So yes, but the they are, they are unlike. <clears throat> but the point again, Ken, unlike here, the laws got pretty well tightened after what happened with Diana. You couldn't do this in this country legally, but you can in New York. Well, no, yeah, no, you but, can't drive on the pavement. No, no, no. And they're I, claiming that the I, paparazzi I understand that, did. but I'm saying that yeah, but I, I think to the, actually what, pursue celebrities as paparazzi in New York is a legal thing to be doing. Yeah, but, but Harry and, and Meghan must have expected this to happen. I mean, you know, he's got this sort of private security uh, mm. Business or company, whatever now, who clearly th this is something new to them because they, from what I observe, it, they weren't able to deal with this problem. 